Hey everyone, I'm so happy with how this inboard flap test piece has turned out. So much more accurate and realistic than I would have hoped and it's really, really cool to see it uh, in real life after just staring at a computer screen for so long. I started the design work in 2017. I took a long break and I picked it up again last year. Uh, and then the last two weeks I've been assembling this. It was a really challenging design process. Things are at totally crazy angles, weird intersecting shapes, um, just complicated mechanics. So it took me a long time to get through all of that. But now that I have, I think I'm in a really good place here. Side note, this is what my floor looks like after I've cut out a bunch of parts. I know there have been some questions about how the flaps are going to be controlled on the actual model and as you can see here there's a long strip of paper that runs a good portion of the wing length, slides back and forth and it pushes and pulls at various points to control the uh, flap drive mechanisms. So that's similar to what I've been using for the slats as well and they'll probably use something like that for the spoilers too. This is a good view of how the sliding track on the right pushes and pulls the flap support structure and, and makes it extend and retract. Thinking about all that you went through Doing anything to numb your way to an empty space Staring at the ceiling Trying to figure out a meaning Trying to buy into the feeling Of a better place I wish I did more to love you I wish I did more So the next step is for me to work on the outboard flap. It is mechanically simpler because it's single slotted, not double slotted, and it'll use a similar mechanism to what you see here, but I still haven't figured out exactly how it moves. So that's going to take a little time to get my head around that. As always, thanks for all the great comments and questions, and I'll see you all with the next update. Bye everyone.